Wednesday, February 31st, 1986. Our planet still has one wall too many. Nuclear power, what could go wrong? And cats like trees better than humans. But first, we have a special news report about a man claiming to be from the future. I'll tell you one thing, he sure doesn't look like it. Join us as we uncover this big mystery tonight. So, tell me who you are and what do you do? Hey, I am Jelle and I am from the future. You were sent here from the future? By who? I don't really know. All I know is that in the year 2020, after a giant global pandemic and a weird crypto craze thingy, a crazy AI revolution is going to take place. The robots were able to do crazy things and instead of the people who made these robots think about the ramifications, all they did was improve it even further. Until one day, the unthinkable happened. They started to reproduce. Scientists have not been able to explain it yet, but they have called today the first day of the robot supremacy. But I believe we, we can undo this event. Now that I'm back in the 80s, I can warn the people about this and try to prevent the singularity. Okay, so you claim that 40 years in the future robots will take over the world because they can have babies? Yes, exactly. We'll be back right after this. Leg warmers aren't just a fashion statement. They are a way of life. With every slide, your legs get warmer. Ignite the curiosity of the bystander. Move in ways you've never moved before. And dance like nobody's watching. Leg warmers. Feel hot, look hot. So, why should the people believe you? These are some crazy stories. I know I sound a little bit crazy, but I've devised the perfect plan. I am going to warn the next generation, the future adults, the only hope for our civilization, the gamers. You mean the kids that stay inside all day and play these so-called video games? Yes, I've made a game that will train the kids to be aware of the potential robot uprising in the future. You play as the great hero Yale. The name is just a coincidence. And there is a big robot arm in the middle of the screen. All around there are these little robot arms who are trying to get to the middle one. And it is your task to prevent that. Whoa, that sounds complicated. How did you manage to create that video game of yours? Well, let me explain. Hold on to your seats, we're right back. Oh well. Are you ready for the breakfast revolution? Introducing Robo Crunchies, the futuristic cereal that will power up your morning. Robo Crunchies are packed with energizing bits and bites, giving you the fuel you need to conquer the day. Robo Crunchies, the breakfast sensation, fuel your morning with a future sensation. Crunch a flavor that will make you smile. Join the Robo Revolution in style. Robo Crunchies, the power of the future in every bite. I've made quite a few games already, but there was one big problem. The tech in the 80s was like really, really basic. The most popular game console of this time is the NES. And it only has an 8-bit processor and like 2 kilobytes of RAM. To put that in perspective, my modern PC in the future has about 16 gigabytes of RAM. That's like 32,000 NESs all in a single box. Given that a typical screen like this one outputs of about 256 by 240 pixels, that would bring the total to 61,440 pixels. If you do some quick math, that would mean you need about 15 kilobytes of memory to display a single screen. And that's way too much for a little 2 kilobyte memory unit. If we want to save on some storage and actually be able to display an image, we need to group the pixels together in tiles. 8 by 8 pixels that we can store separately in a template table. And then we only need a 30 by 32 grid and give each cell a index from the table. This template table is not something you can just draw on screen. You need to manually code it one by one. That's why we first draw the sprites on graph paper and then calculate which bytes we need to enter in the screen. Now, these tiles are very handy if you want to display something static, like a background. But 
if you have a character for example that you want to move a little bit less than 8 pixels per frame you're going to want a little bit more freedom to place the tile wherever you want these are called foreground sprites they are stored in a separate table and can be manipulated pixel by pixel but as you might have seen 8 by 8 pixels is not very big if you want to create a more complex character you might need a little bit more pixels to achieve that you can combine multiple sprites into one big meta sprite and then move all four sprites at the same time to make it look like it's a whole character in the end we have this big well relatively big atlas where all the things that will ever appear on your screen are a clever combination of the things that appear on this atlas all i then have to do is give it to my programmer and do it all myself anyway Strap in, we're going to be right back after this. Is your playtime feeling dull and lackluster? Say goodbye to boredom and ignite your imagination with the incredible Mini Robot Arm. It's time to bring excitement back into your playtime. With the Mini Robot Arm, you can grab, twist and maneuver objects like never before. The Mini Robot Arm is a toy you've been waiting for. Mini Robot Arm, discover the joy of play. These graphics certainly look futuristic, but now it's a static image. How did you get them to move? I'm glad you asked. Games these days are written in assembly, a very close to the hardware programming language where you are directly manipulating the bytes. If you want to make a character move, you need to change its coordinates. These are stored somewhere in the memory, so you also need to remember where you store them. Heck, I don't even remember where I put my keys half of the time. But after all of banging my head against the keyboard, I've made it work. You see this arm in the middle of the screen and the character moving around it. Then, over time, these other little arms are trying to get to the center. If you manage to hit them before they reach the center, you get some points. But if they reach the center, it's game over. For good. Don't go anywhere just yet. We're back before you know it. Viewer discretion is advised. The year is 2023 and the robots are taking over the world. The mother brain is located in the center and there are thousands of little ones who are desperately trying to get to her. Armed with nothing but a plunger, it is your task to prevent the spread and stop all the enemies in your path. Now, in extreme high revolution, play Robo Future Destroyer like your life depends on it. Because it does. Future Robo Destroyer, get the game while you still can. Robot arm sold separately. Please see guidance of a legal guardian before purchasing this game. Wait, why is the game taking place in your room? What do you mean? Are you, do, do you know me? Are, are, but are I, you responsible what, for this singularity? Are you, Security! Oh no, are you, this are man! You, he he is a danger to our oh, society! I've got no time to explain! Over there! Go get him! Buy, please buy my game! It's out right now! Before it's too... You should have seen his face. Uh, 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 um, that's all for today, folks. We'll see you again tomorrow. Susan, turn it off. Susan. <laughs>